the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim and in this episode I'm going to be going over trucker must-haves if you're going to do OTR trucking. Trucking jobs are not created equal as far as the lifestyle of said truck driver. A local driver, that ain't that big of a change, right? OTR means you're, you're spending your weekends like I am at a truck stop in Gulfport, Mississippi doing a reset. All right, all right. But I've got a list of over 20 things that I consider must-haves to be able to do my job effectively, maintain my sanity out here on the road along with my health, and I'm gonna share those with you guys, all right? Now, if you're a flatbed truck driver, you need some things I don't, so uh, you may need to check out another video. But for us uh, regular old drive van or even reefer drivers, you know, I like to have a little Windex, you know, sometimes, especially if you vape, gets hazy on the inside and well you know about the bugs on the outside and just extra fluids like your coolant and your oil and things but biggest key especially for you new truck drivers do not get caught out on the road without having a few of these these i, I call them straps load locks accomplish the same thing the reason is occasionally especially if it's like a broker load or something like that You'll go to a shipper that requires a strap, sometimes two straps for the load. And if you ain't got it, well, you're gonna have to get it because you can't get your load without them. You'll have to buy them off another truck driver, leave, go to a truck stop or something. Don't get caught unprepared, have a few straps. I, I think that's all the must-haves that I have down below, other than the inverter that's down there. Those come in really handy. That allows you to power things with a 110 other than, you know, only being able to do 12 volt. But we'll talk about 12 volt. Now, the type of truck I have is a 2019 Volvo. I'm not sure of the model. It don't say it on the outside. It just has V and L. But it is not one of the double bunks and the, the kitchen table and all that. So let's go inside and talk about trucker must have. Alright truck drivers, we're going to get started on our list of trucker must have. But if this is your first time making it to the Trucker Gym channel, please consider subscribing. If you dig this content, like it. That helps out with the algorithms and all that. But let's get to the list of trucker must haves. You know, we've mentioned having some straps. That's a real good idea. Extra fluids is not a bad idea either. And an inverter, if your company has one in your truck, you'll be glad they did. Now, I use an iPhone and have a whole bunch of Apple products. I'm caught all up in the Apple ecosystem, so I get it as far as trying to go paperless, but at the same time, have a notebook and a couple of pens on your truck. As far as the notebook, I call this my trip book. I keep a log of every trip I do, because I'm gonna get paid to do that trip. So I'm gonna have the empty and the loaded miles, but I'm also gonna have the trip number that's associated with those miles the date, the pickup city, the delivery city, the trailer number, that type of information. There, I promise you there will be times where you're glad you had that information on call. It's going to make you look sharp, truck drivers, and, and your company's going to know they can count on you. You got your stuff together. But it starts with a notebook and pen. Or if you're just adamantly, you know, and for the environment and want to go paperless, I guess maybe set up a note file on your phone or something like that, but keep up with what you've done. Another must have, you know, you need all your charging cables and all that for your devices, but if you have an inverter in your truck, bring a surge protector or two so you can plug a bunch of other things in. You'll be glad you did. You do have to watch how you run things. Like I, if I want to run my air fryer and microwave and boil coffee and things like that, I'm definitely going to have to have the truck running. Speaking of microwave, you're not going to be able to get probably your grandma's big old ancient microwave in there. The one I've got is probably the most popular microwave in trucks today. It comes from Walmart. It's like $59, I think. I've got a red one. There's a black one, a silver one, I think a, a white one. 
but 700 watts is the power of the microwave that you want to get. It's good enough to get the job done and well you'll have the voltage to run it. These 1100, 1500 watt microwave truck drivers stay away from them. They ain't gonna work. But if you are fortunate enough where the stars align and you have a refrigerator in your truck, then you can cut Man, you can take steak, chicken, fish, all, whatever you want out on the road and cook it. I've used a variety of things to cook with over the years, but what I've got going on now is an air fryer, and I like it much better than the lunchbox cooker. But if you're trying to steam vegetables or something like that, air fryer is not good for that. And some of you may be asking, Jim, why you want to worry about having a refrigerator and air cooker and what the fuck's a lunchbox cooker when every truck stop you go to has a McDonald's at it and has a Subway. Well, those are exactly the reasons I want a refrigerator and a lunchbox cooker, and which it, it's a lunchbox looking thing that heats up to about 350 degrees and, and you can cook. It's kind of like an oven. And I just feel a lot more stable in control when I have my food situation taken care of here in the truck and not be at the mercy of whatever truck stop, rest stop, vending machine I happen to be at when I'm hungry. But that's not what this video is about. This is about must-haves if you're going to be an OTR trucker. Now, the hard hat, this ain't really a must-have for me. If I was a, a flatbed driver, I would be. But I tell you something that is a must-have is a safety vest. You need these. If you ever break down and have to be on the side of the road at night, I feel better having something reflective on than, like, say, something black. I know I'm wearing red right now. But have a safety vest and certain shippers and receivers that you go to will require you to have a safety vest if you're going to be outside of your truck. And then there's Velcro. This kind of comes in handy at certain situations. I don't know if I'd recommend putting your TV up with a Velcro, but that, that's a story for another video. Something for pain you really need to have. Me personally being hospitalized a few times for bleeding internally from diverticulosis, I try not to take pills. You know, Tylenol is the only thing I could take. Uh, so like these kind of things. This is Biofreeze. I know some of you have been gay or used been gay. You could use that, but those are good to have on hand when you have aches and pains. And then, of course, having some kind of stocking cap. You know, going down here to Texas like I'm doing now, I don't ever use it. But on those snowy, like below freezing, it, it's a lot more comfortable if you've got your ears covered. So have a stocking cap with you. Now over here in my door, I've got gloves. I mainly use these for fueling up or if I have to mess with landing gear, hooking trailers, things like that. And I generally find myself replacing my gloves typically at least once a year. They don't always develop holes in them, but over time they just get really dirty on the inside. Like I have very clean hands and clean fingernails right now. Until I put on my gloves after I've had them about 10 months and they get freaking disgusting. But you definitely want to have a pair of work gloves. Mechanic gloves is kind of the style that I like, but that's your personal preference. Another thing is a must have is some wire cutters. The reason is sometimes you get those little metal seals and well you need to take them off when it's live unload so they can unload you. And it's better to have you on than trying to, I don't know, find some from somewhere else. You can rip them apart with your hands, but be careful because they can cut you. And then a must have on everybody's list, damn it, is a flashlight that works, which <laughs> extra batteries. A flashlight a trucker will use on a regular basis. Uh, one of the most common things is checking to make sure your kingpin, king, kingpin is locked. And there's just going to be times you need to see in the dark. Alright, I mentioned having an inverter and surge protectors. That's so you can plug in regular stuff. But like my fan that's probably making a lot of background noise is a 12 volt. Trucks are going to have numerous 12 volts. Why not have something useful you can stick in them? I've got one right beside my bed and I run the cord up here and it goes to the tornado fan. That's right. Get excited about the tornado fan. This thing really blows. 
on my head. I feel like I sleep better and the environment's just more comfortable when you have some air circulating around. As far as a tornado fan, there is a link in the description of this video that you can buy one through Amazon and have it mailed to you, or you can find it at pretty much any truck stop. I had wrote down on this list, you know, I found this in a notebook, I wrote this a while back, for a, a 12 volt vacuum, you know, these car vacuums, and all the ones I've had they do suck, and not in the greatest way, like the vacuum I've got now. I'm not saying, truck drivers, this is a must-have. This is kind of a luxury. This is a Dyson vacuum cleaner that's wireless, that, you know, has a floor attachment. Well, I left that at home, and I have this, and it is fantastic for keeping your truck clean. Now, if you're a reefer driver, you may just go to big DCs and all that and never get on dirt yards. I go to quite a few dirt and gravelly yards and lots of dirt and stuff gets tracked into the truck and is all over my floor. I vacuum every day. Not every other day, truck drivers. Every day. And then it's good for other little cleanup stuff if you drop crumbs from, you know, chips or whatever you're eating. But having a vacuum in a truck helps you keep your truck much, much cleaner than not. But if you don't have a vacuum, I've had like air hoses hooked into the airlines to blow it out or you can you know buy a little broom but you need something to take care of your floors in the truck because they will get nasty over the course of time and it don't take long and some people would have said this one first but no trucker must have list would be complete without the symbol that lets the world know you're a truck driver a bluetooth headset with the boom mic and everything now a lot of people have used Blue Tiger and there's Road Pro and there's other brands. The only one I've ever been completely satisfied with is Blue Parrots. This is a 450, but there's a wide selection of them in truck stops and I think there is a link for this one in the description if you want to. But the Bluetooth headset is a definite must because it's not like you're not going to talk on the phone while you're doing your 11 hour drive shift. You're gonna. Whether it's dispatch or you know a friend or a family member or something like that and you can't truck drivers be holding your phone up, up to you especially in Georgia. You can be fired and your career's over over that kind of stuff like that. So having a Bluetooth headset and once you start using if you hadn't already, if you're a truck driver, you're probably already doing it because I don't see how anybody wouldn't. But talking on a Bluetooth is so much better than having to hold a phone and or do like this. You know, your hands free, you can hear well, they can hear you well, there's noise cancellation. The good ones are typically over a hundred bucks, but get you one, it's a trucker must have. And along with that, you need a phone mount. I have had many over the years, but I like this one. It's simple. Phone pops in, it can move however it wants, and it stays on. Those are the characteristics I look for. But there are a million phone mounts to choose from. Pick one. It's a must-have. You don't want your phone in your hand while you're driving. You can have it where it's in your view. You can reach up and touch it, use your trucker path, all of those kind of things, but you must have a phone mount. But we're not gonna go into all the smartphone apps. That would be another video, but having a smartphone, I mean, that kind of goes without saying. But what may not go without saying, because you say, I have a smartphone, is a trucker GPS. I personally feel it's a must-have because I don't want to be looking at my phone all the time. The bigger screen of the GPS is set up for trucker routes. It can do quick searches for rest stops and truck stops. You can have an address book with your common shippers and your terminals saved in there. And it just looks cooler when you have it on 3D. Trucker GPS. You don't have to spend $500 on one at a truck stop. There's plenty of used ones out there on eBay and things like that. But whatever you do, in a short period of time, get a trucker GPS if you don't have one. You know, if you're a truck driver. Now, experienced drivers, you already know this because <laughs> it don't take too long to realize, man, I need to shower out here on the road because it gets kind of funky. But having a shower set up, you know, your shower bag, you know, for your toiletries as they call it, shampoo, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, you know, whatever you do for your hair or shaving, you know, things like that. But you definitely want to have a dirty clothes bag if you're an over-the-road trucker. 
but sometimes it just don't work out like you want it to as far as being somewhere taking a shower and on that so kind of as a backup it's a real good idea if you're an over-the-road truck driver to have some baby wipes to clean yourself up if you guys would like for me to do a demonstration of how to use baby wipes in an upcoming video just let me know in the comments now prior to 2016 I was like everybody else if I was thirsty I went into a truck stop and I bought something to drink whether it was in a bottle or a fountain cup or coffee or whatever 2016 I got a gift card from Bass Pro Shop because it was the Christmas of the Yeti Cup. Everybody was getting one for Christmas. Well, except me, because I got a gift card for one. And it was about mid-February before they came back in and I was able to get one. And um, this has been my dirty, <laughs> well, seasoned is what Lindsay says it is. My seasoned coffee cup ever since 2016 and it's a game changer now I could show you guys my coffee setup because yeah I grind my beans I use a French press and all that and make it bulletproof with butter that's not necessarily a must-have for truck drivers but having your own cup that keeps it hot for hours is so much better than having to go in and you know a paper cup and it's it's cold in, in 30 minutes I always like that and their coffee's not any good but have a good cup I have a couple this is for my water this is for my coffee I feel like I'm helping the environment because I'm not putting more styrofoam in the landfills and it's also cost-effective all right moving right along with our trucker must-have list like where I'm at right now I got an alert that a big old storm is coming and there's a flash flood warning for the next 14 hours so you need to be prepared for weather be prepared for rain I've got a rain jacket in here I don't use it all that often if I can scurry on in and get back no big deal but if you have to be out in it you don't want to be a wet rat definitely have a raincoat and then you want to have some boots you know if you're flatbed you probably got steel toe boots but at least have some waterproof boots I've got these Timberlands here that I got for about a hundred bucks at Academy Sports are super light, they're super comfortable, and they're waterproof and they're black. I love them. Be prepared for the weather. Rain jacket and some waterproof boots. I'm talking about the must-haves. And as far as tools go, I know I mentioned wire cutters, flashlight. There, there's other things that will come in handy. I'm not going to put them on the must-have list because mine have been accumulated as I needed them for something and had to buy them and then I have them after that but there will be a few tools that you will need out on the road but you'll kind of figure that out as you go and I've got one last thing but let's do a quick recap on the must-haves before I'm not saying this last thing is the most important thing but it's a must-have in my opinion but we got notebook and pens surge protectors charging cords for power inverters food and drink fridge 700 watt microwave um, a lunchbox cooker, air fryer, safety vest, flashlight with extra batteries, wire cutters, 12 volt vacuum, a 12 volt fan, Bluetooth headset, trucker GPS, phone mount, shower bag, and personal items, dirty clothes bag, a good cup, baby wipes, oil coolant, washer fluid, load straps, load logs, rain suit, raincoat, rain boots, or just waterproof boots, gloves, pretty good idea to have some shade some sunglasses especially driving into that Sun uh, smartphone uh, just a couple apps that I, I use almost daily is trucker path transflow cat scale and some kind of map app having a few tools and the last thing is what an old-school trucker would have told you first a road atlas now I do not use my road atlas every day I do not use it for trip planning, but I feel much better having it here if I needed it for anything. And I know what you're saying, but Jim, you got an iPhone, a freaking iPad, and Mac and all that. You ought to be able to figure out your navigational routes. And yeah, I do all those things, but I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. There's several things, events that could occur that could disrupt 
the life we have become easily accustomed to, you know, with like satellites, you know, communicating and, and cell towers and 5G making these devices work as beautiful as they do, and electricity where fuel pumps and everything else is powered. But there's a list of things that could disrupt that, and hopefully that's not going to happen, guys. But if anything like that does, then all of these devices aren't going to do you any good. And having an atlas to figure out where you at and the direction you need to go to where you want to be, and just be familiar with the, the landscape, I feel better having it around, and I recommend all you truck drivers have it as well just in case but thanks for watching this video i'm so glad you made it to the end hey but if you like this video give that thumb of yours a little exercise and smash it and i'll see all of you in the next video but until then be safe out there and keep on trucking everybody going through a little something, something. Sing a little song with a